Alright, so we are at 800 subscribers. This is the 100 subscriber special story time thing. Because I'm too poor to do giveaways and I'm not popular enough to do anything else extravagant like a meet and greet. So, let's do it. Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Sixes here and welcome back to one. A Thursday thing and the 100 subscribers special. I have to like stop myself from saying 100k. And I think I'll start with the clarifying the high school story that I told people and had people believing. Right, so the story in high school and the story behind my accent that I told people in high school, which is right off the bat isn't true, is that I was born in the USA, particularly Florida State, Miami. Right. The story in high school was that I was born in Florida State, Miami, and that's how I got the accent, blah blah blah, we moved back, and that's how it popped up at the beginning of high school. That's not true. Where I got that story, per se, was I was doing some stuff with the tech crew while I was still in high school, and I was walking to a class, right? And I walked past a group of girls, and you know how they, like how a group, like people tend to talk about you just after you walk past them and you think that you can't hear them when you actually can, right? That's what happened. One of these girls was like, Kevin, he was born in like America and moved here when he was still young. And I overheard that. I was like, First of all, I wonder how many people believe that per se. So I was like, hey, let's just let's just tell people, like, say, let's just fabricate a story real quick and just see how many people would actually believe it. To be honest, at that point, I actually didn't, I still didn't know how I have this accent really and that seemed like a feasible explanation to tell even though it was a lie but this is why you shouldn't tell lies you have to like really constantly think about it and keep consistent with what you said in the first place and it has a tendency to just get out of hand and that's what happened with this because i told a few people and it was like yo they believe it so i was like hey all right let's just see how many more people would and i told more people some didn't believe it at first and because you're already in a lie you're gonna have to like you know ride with it and just keep telling it until they actually do believe it some people still don't and the people who don't and are probably watching this right now you got me i you got me it's it's all good well is it all good i don't know probably isn't that that whole story and some of I think it, like two teachers ended up believing that story. It's it's not true to the teacher specifically because then I get to bad lying to your elders. My bad. It 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 <laughs> got out of hand. Okay, I'm I'm yeah. I'm sorry. Here's the real story and what I've managed to like try and piece together. Is I motherfucker, this the deal. Mama, 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 ho, 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 mama, I ain't know it was you. Mama, I ain't know it was you. No, I ain't killing no cops. Mama, call me back, okay? Call me back. Mama, stop watching the news. Don't be believing everything you hear on the news. Just to be honest, until I left high school and really thought about where the hell this accent of mine is coming from, because I thought like the accent would fade away as soon as I left high school, and it didn't. I'm still talking like this, so somehow, somewhere, I didn't exactly like pick it up halfway while growing up. It's something that sh probably manifested while I was still learning how to speak English. Because what I learned from some other people with accent is that when you learn, like, especially with people that learn English, right? When you learn English in like a certain environment around certain people who have a certain accent, you tend to adapt to that accent. And for some people it rubs off and other people it like you know sticks and that's what i thought happened to me so i just like went back to my childhood and tried to like find some answers and here's what i well here's what makes most sense to me right now is that when i was younger in like late pre-primary and early primary for like first year of primary that's elementary school for my american subscribers i didn't live with my parents right i lived with my grand my parents were in another province working and my grandmother was and still is a very busy woman so she back then used to leave the house at like 3 4 5 a.m in the morning come back at like 6 7 8 9 in the evening so i had a nanny that's who i stayed with for most of the day i wasn't allowed to go outside and play with other kids while i was still young because my granny is like super overprotective over her grandchildren which is not a bad thing to be honest so i had to stay indoors from monday to friday when i got back from school and you know did all my homework, so I had to like stay indoors and basically watch TV for entertainment because that's the only thing I could do. Luckily, I think my grandma like planned this ahead. She had like DSTV, which is satellite television. <clears throat> 
and I just stay in, stay in like indoors and watch cartoons for like four or five sometimes even six hours straight after I got home and stuff. It just so happens that around that time I was learning how to properly affluently speak English. What I recall from this is that I didn't have someone who was like actively teaching me how to speak English because if that was the case then I probably would have clung on to the South African accent of speaking English and per se you know like the Model C English accent that most black kids have nowadays. I didn't have someone who was like actively teaching me how to speak English, I had cartoons, like American cartoons, that were indirectly teaching me how to speak English at the time. So what I'm thinking is that that's where I got the accent from. On top of that, there was a lot of, we had a lot of American movies in the house. And a lot of American movies, a lot of American black actors, specifically Chris Tucker, was like a very prominent like actor in my in my childhood because like that was the only movies that I could watch because those were comedy and action movies were deemed too scary for a child to watch. Is this what you want? Huh? Is this what you want? And I used to watch a lot of Chris Tucker movies, especially Money Talks, which is probably where I also got bits of the black American accent from too. This is right. It can't get no writer. That's what probably explains where my black, well, where my American accent comes from is cartoons and movies. Like I told like a couple of people who informally asked me in person, where do you think your accent comes from? And that's the one that actually makes most sense to me. You know, what I find really funny about this accent is that in like primary elementary school, I didn't have one at all. I used to talk like every other kid who was around me at the time. It only sprung up in high school. It's, it's really weird. I don't know how that works per se, but that's that's how it happened actually. Like I got to high school and started talking to people and like I did these funny looks like why does he talk like that? And then someone actually asked me, he was like, dude, are you American? I was like, nah, I'm not American, what are you talking about? And they were like, no, you, you talk with an accent. I was like, what do you mean it? talk in an accent it's like you you have an american accent i was like no i do not like he, he was like dude are you listening to yourself right now i was like yes i am oh okay it's that that's when i like heard it and it was like yo dude you're actually talking like this what the fuck where is this all coming from and it's not like i was forcing it because a lot of people thought like thought initially that i'm just forcing this American accent. There was actually, I actually got into a discussion with one of my friends in high school who was convinced that this accent is just forced, that I pract like I went home every day and basically practiced how to talk like this and stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, that's, that's it, man. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a Thursday thing, it's your boy Sixes. That is the story behind my accent. For fun, I guess, if you were in high school with me and you're watching this video right now, just like, share it to someone else who was the same high school as me and you. The memo gets passed around because I don't feel like explaining this whole story in person. Next time someone asks me like, are you a I'm just gonna be like, yo, I made a video about it, it's on my YouTube channel. Here's the link, go watch it. I am tired of explaining this over and over. I know it's probably a really good conversation starter, but nah. Yeah, so anyways guys, that's been it. It's been a Thursday thing. It's your boy Sixes. That is the story behind my accent. Hope this clears the air on everything. You know, I hope you guys are satisfied now. We can move on. More subscribers, more views, and just more fun in this awesome channel. Is it awesome? Is this an awesome channel? I think it's an awesome channel. I'm enjoying what I'm doing here, so yay. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys are having a good week. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you on Tuesday for a third. <laughs> for a real talk Tuesday video. Yeah, that's it. Until then, stay fly. <laughs>